Okay, good morning and welcome to the sewers beneath um, some sort of probably. Um, now we're going back in here, but only to um, carry on. Oh wait. Uh, yeah, only to move on with things. I did not expect the room to look like this. That's that's the whole root of my confusion. Okay, but yeah, as you can see from the title, we are going back to Anahata eventually. Ooh, I see two doors. Um, mm -mm. Okay. So we go through this one first, being to the east, because that's apparently a good thing. But by the way, there is loot to, to be had. Touch the thing. Um, yeah, I was just living down in the guy there. Something about a Magatama supposed to be some kind of ammunition. I don't quite remember, but we'll just have to see. Mm. Now this door. And we're out. Um, it's not quite going to, <laughs> to be the uh, last time. Um, well, that place, some star tunnels, as well the title of this video suggests, but we are momentarily free of that place. So, this time we are actually back at the Embryon base, if, <laughs> if you can imagine. Um, so yeah, those tunnels do run everywhere. Um, mm, mm, mm. Uh, yes, these three tre treasure things that we couldn't reach before, we can now reach. Now that we can go through the some summer tunnels. Tyrant Skull. Murder Rock? <laughs> Oh, okay. And the Magatama. Let's look at all this. Mm. Ah, so I'm a little tired. Eat, have some of that. Angela, you can do a little extra magic. Now, boost their strength. Ah, death high odds all reusable. Why you would use a la Sif when you have a murder rock? Um, I wouldn't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Let's see. Any special items? Uh, tag ring. That, no, tyrant skull I mean. Mysterious black skull. I think uh, no, I think I'm wrong about that. Okay, well, never mind. I'll just uh, be quiet. <laughs> However, uh, yeah, and this is a bit of an upgrade. Give him that to Surf because he's fucking Surf. <laughs> uh, you could probably do with a, with a little bit of boost. Okay. That might be the best plan of ammunition um, available at this time. Well, well, from what I have at least. Uh, whatever. Ah, yeah, I didn't make a lot of sense there. Um, yes, unlock doors. That's what we do. Mm. 
Okay, so we are going back to the world map now. And um, I will see you later. Uh, well, I will see you at the world map. Okay, well, um, interesting things happened. And yeah, that, there, there's a lot of blood on the floor right there. Um, now, I did say I will meet you out on the world map, but there were a few interesting uh, dialogues here that I wanted to show you. So, do I know what a child is? Is that some kind of joke, sir? I used to have two kids, you know? <laughs> I may not look it, but... Wait, how can that be? I confused myself, sir. Sir! Hmm. Yeah? That's the thing that happened. Uh, we've all noticed what Gale was talking about. The sun, for example. We've never seen it, but it affects us and we understand what it is. How could that be? So, yeah, this world is a bit of a strange one. And now people notice. There are things we know of which do not exist in the junkyard. I never found that odd until the Atma changed us. The key must lie in that. Um, but yeah. I did say I would sell off a bunch of uh, cells and things. And uh, Notice how my <laughs> um, money did not really grow very much. <laughs> uh, there are two particular reasons for that. Um, one is the Megiddo Fire. All lighted damage, all reusable. Which is a pretty damn expensive item. But I thought, hey, <laughs> it might actually be useful. Also, there is... Well, I, uh, as you can see, I bought a lot of revival gems. There's also the revival orb. That um, I bought for about 600,000 money. Yeah, revive one ally, all HP and reusable. So, yeah, screw some other karm. <laughs> I can just do this. Um, items are also available, and some other karm takes up a skill slot. So, screw some other karm, as I said. Uh, did I really buy nothing else? Huh, no, I don't think I did. Well, I did sell the Alasif, as you can see. It would be between the Magni Rock and Murder Rock. Uh, Magni Bomb and Murder Rock. But yeah. Now, this man, Mr. Yellow, I wonder what the deal is with that cat. There's no other cat. That. Where did that one come from? I can barely speak. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you're uh, into science stuff, you might have a little Schrodinger's cat rattling around in the back of your mind. Um, nah. Well, I'm not going to go all out. Uh, I'm not going to explain that uh, for you right now. So just, uh, uh, you know. Uh, keep that in mind for um, later events in the second game. Again, yes, that is also a reason to play them both back to back. So, if we came to the junkyard when we died, do we come back to life if we reach Nirvana? This world is formed through the circulation information, constantly refreshed by the rain. Now, circulation information, that's uh, kind of not how you would describe life here on planet Earth, but, you know, genetics is not quite incompatible with, with such a description. Anyway, is something like that possible? Well, that depends on the wording, but as I said, you know, it very well might be. If we get Sarah back and go to Nirvana, that should clear everything up. I'll kill anyone in my way, even the Karma Temple. <laughs> it's all fired up. Let's go find us a battle. <laughs> and blow up some steam. Ah, okay, move that around like so, and... Yeah. 
Yeah, I know the yellow dude was there. I don't care. <laughs> Anahata is, of course, our destination now. Um, anything new here? If there's not Nirvana, then I won't be either. Okay. I thought things were different in Nirvana, but now... Nirvana. It must be a nice place, Brenda. The end may, in fact, be a new beginning. More on that later. Those of us who won't give up are still hanging in the Citadel. Be careful there, bro. So it's Nirvana time, huh? Yeah, count me out. I have a feeling I'm better off down here. You don't know how right you are. <laughs> the final dungeon is a hell of a place. So, uh, the guide actually suggests buying a bunch of Estoma sprays. But actually, I uh, kind of want the AP. So, I'm not going to. But know that it is recommended. I think I'm going to save the game, though. It's been like 10 minutes. <laughs> Oh, it's even been 15 minutes. Yeah, or 16 and a half. Whatever. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. We shouldn't go there. Shouldn't go that way. Um, we should instead teleport. Nearly made a mess there. Yes, Citadel 2. Ah, I just made a brilliant discovery. I just managed to uh, smash a Lomwe Kane. I just had to revert to human form and, well, shoot him <laughs> with a gun. So, woohoo! <laughs> I guess I should have uh, looked that up before. Um, but, <laughs> oh well, what are you gonna do? So, what are we doing in here then? This is where the ladder to Samsara tunnels are located inside Anahata. And. Um, hmm, I would like to find a karma terminal so I can show you the uh, mantras in some, some kind of structure that I recommend for this part of this trip. But yeah, elemental resistances are going to be a thing here. doesn't have a critical boost. That's, let's take care of that. Yeah, these are low level mantras, but ah. I'm such a skin flint today. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, I know I saved the game pretty recently, <laughs> but Shin Megami Tensei. Enough said. <laughs> oh yeah, um, the mantras. <laughs> okay. So, where was Holy Leader again? Uh, up here, right? No? 
No, down here. Okay. Get Holy Leader. Fill the null status stuff. for debility, but no death is always handy. So there's an evil god somewhere up here, I think. Oh, war god. Right, the war god. That's what I was looking for. Uh, I'm guessing that's for genocide. Also, Ice Master. Because Bufudine and Ice Amp Bolt Master, which Surf does not have access to. I think he does, though. Yeah. Bolt Master is a thing. Also, need Death Spirit, where the hell that is. some kind of system behind the naming of all these. Death Spirit. Who the hell is it? Did I up and write? Uh, uh, mis did I mistake Dark Spirit for it instead? Sounds very possible. Sounds like something I would do. It's that one. No, that was Cruel Leader. No? Ah, yeah. Here's Death Spirit for Diarahan. Yes, you need Diarahan always. Very good. Very good to have. Also, Goddess for Mediarahan. And yeah, that's it for my personal counter recommendations. Take that with a grain of salt or not, depending on your preference. Um, now we go south. Here, then come back for the red stuff. Red door. Now, the enemies here, they are the same as the last time you came by here, so they are re really easy by this time. Not much of a challenge yet, although uh, you may get as a male as a reinforcement. And, uh, well, if you remember from the event fight a while ago, some males are uh, nothing even close to a pushover. Well, they are quite possible to, to defeat. They, you know, take a lot of time and effort. Um, judge for yourself whether you think it's worth said trouble <laughs> and effort.
Um, yeah. So now we just cross the bridge and we'll be treasures. <laughs> Lots of treasures. Great chakra and stuff. Magic noise we can use, definitely. And a logic cell. Sure. And that's actually everything we well, have to get here. Let's just go back to the walls. And here we are. Okay. I actually got the male reinforcements there. And uh, reverted to human form. And uh, had a lot of fun with the uh, neutron shot that um, ran randomly poisons the targets it hit. It hits. Well. Yeah, I don't, it works. It worked very well, <laughs> and I had some use for the uh, Megiddo fire item. Well, actually made the cost worth it. Let's see. Um, right. Well. I think I'm going to have to call it an episode soon-ish. Um, well, I am going to cut quite a bit though.